All right, here's my heating system for the upcoming winter. I got a uh, wood burner on the right and a boiler on the left that I mounted a Babington ball burner style burner in it. I uh, used some of the housing and some of the electronics off of a Beckett oil gun. Between the two, I should be able to keep the place plenty warm. I think the wood burner is 500,000 BTU and the oil burner is about 100,000 BTU. I got a taco pump wired in that circulates water between the two. Brought electricity over to it to have a switch for the taco pump and a switch to turn the boiler on and off. Also a couple of plug-ins, one for the air compressor and one for the oil pump to bring oil up to the gun. Uh, I got a set of copper tubes, a small tube wrapped around the bigger tube to heat the oil as it comes up to the gun. You can see the burner running there. I know it's kind of loud, but it's really not that loud in real life here. It just comes across on the camera that way. You can see the spark running off of the trans transformer for the uh, Beckett oil gun that I used. It really burns pretty clean. Can't hardly even see any exhaust coming out of it. Haven't tied the exhaust up through the roof yet, just to kind of monitor how well it's burning. We'll get that set up later. Got an air compressor, brings air over to the gun. Everything's automated. If anything were to quit working or, or go wrong, it shuts down all on its own. Like if, I'm to, if I were to disconnect the air here, pressure finally got low enough for the air to air compressor to kick on. Okay, I disconnected the air, causing it to go out. That spark will stop in a second. Okay, the spark just stopped. The sensor told it that the flame went out. So I hooked the air back up. Now it's a little button on this uh, Honeywell control that I can click here in just a couple of minutes as soon as the uh, thing times out. It, it makes you wait a certain amount of time before it'll let you restart it. No, nope, nothing yet. Come on. There we go. Oop. Should start sparking in a second. Looks like it reset. Came on for a second there. Come on. There you go. All right, so we're up and running again. And it works the same way if the oil were to quit, it'll automatically shut down, or if the spark or anything were to happen, it, it kills itself, so it's really pretty safe. I uh, got a few, a little more fine tuning to do, but she's up and running, so I'm happy with it. You happy with it? I'm happy with it. There's my gorgeous wife. there it turns the air supply off along with the spark just so it doesn't keep blowing air out and blowing oil all over the place.